doesn't make any difference where you are. If you see that Indian head patch, you just know what they are, what they've done, and what's behind them. We've got a lot of folks, a hundred years of folks that are behind them. First of all, it organized in France in 1917 with a Marine commander and uh, fighting alongside the Marines there. give you an idea, many men were killed, wounded, many were taken prisoners of war. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. The second division was alerted to move to Korea from Fort Lewis, Washington as soon as the Korean War broke out. There was a period of death and starvation and death and disease and so forth. And it was just utter poverty and just lack of anything that I had ever seen before. It commemorates what happened so many, many years ago on November 30th. of October, we had South, South Korea liberated from the North Korean communists. If you were in charge of a brand new country and you were creating your army, for that brand new country, and you finally got a division created, what would you call it? And he said, well, I guess I'd call it the first division. And he said, well, in the United States, they call the first one the second division. And he said, when you understand that, you'll understand everything there is to know about the army. Yeah, when I first got to Korea, you know, it was just seven years after the, the armistice. It was devastated. It was poverty. People were scrambling for things all the time. They had nothing. Then when I got back there sometime later on, I saw quite a bit of a change. And then when you get back there in 88, and they were prepared for the Olympics, and you could see the number of bridges across the rivers had increased dramatically. The people were living differently. 
and then I saw them step out into the world. The Korean people say, we did it. No, we didn't do it. They did it. We provided the opportunity and maybe a base for them, but they were hardworking people, very dedicated, smart people, and they did it. To me, it was like there was a child standing behind us that just wanted a chance to grow up. And what we did was we stood the line so that child had the opportunity to grow, keeping the wolf at bay. And that child grew, and my return trip showed us what we did.